Kevin Guarneri, Technical Director of Militrax Recording Studios. Yeah, Militrax is actually the name of the complex of studios that we have here. So we're sitting in Studio A today. We have Studio B down the hall and a small room we call the Audio Lab, kind of like the Swiss Army knife of studios. Yeah, over the summer we had a complete refurbishment of this room where we pulled out the old console, which is a fantastic Emek Angela console we've had here for 20 years, and we replaced it with a Neve console. So sitting behind me is a Neve 5088 Shelford. 32 channel uh, recording console. I think we're one of maybe 50 universities in the nation to have one. Um, and one of the deals we were able to make with Neve, as we're an all Steinway facility, we're now an all Neve facility as well. The installation was, pro it took us 16 days in a row to do the installation, to take the decommissioning, take the old console and the cabling out of the cable troughs and, and then to put the new console in place and the new cabling. We also put a, a new granite countertop in here. This credenza was existing, we trimmed that out a little bit. Uh, my name is Abby Cottrell, and I'm a junior commercial music major. I am Trace Davidson, commercial music major, uh, senior. I've honestly wanted to go into like the music industry since I was a little kid. When I was little, I told my mom I wanted to be a rock star. And I came to Millican, and I saw the uh, all the cool stuff they have to offer. The studio is really cool. It's even cooler now, and it just I wanted to come here and do it here. Yeah. I think um, mine's kind of the same deal. I was playing drums, kind of producing on the side. Um, something I really wanted to follow. And when I came here to visit Milliken, you know, they had this giant studio. They had a little studio. Um, they had so many cool, like, unique opportunities, unique classes that you really don't see anywhere else. So um, that'd be awesome to come here. It's really amazing and a benefit of being a studio manager is you can, you can come in whenever you want and it gives you some time to come in and just play with the gear you haven't experienced before, experiment with new things and see what microphones you like, which ones you don't, what gear you like, which gear you don't, stuff like that. Yeah, it's really, really awesome to just have the studio. Um, like having the keys, you can walk in the Studio B, take a nap. Um, <laughs> like you said, with all the gear and all the like plugins that we have, um, like, gosh, it's so expensive, and like, as a student, you can't afford that at all. So being able to just walk in and like, play with these knobs, you know, uh, work with so many cool plugins, play on the Steinway, it's, it's really awesome to have that resource. Our professors um, are really good at what they do. They really know what they're talking about. And also, you get a very well-rounded view of the music industry. You get to see how different things are done in different ways and you really get to see everything that's coming into it. So it's just a really well-rounded um, education in terms of the music industry. Yeah. If you come to Millican, you're going to learn so much, not only just about music by itself, but with production, with engineering, with the industry, and you're gonna build like some really great connections that you thought you would never have if you do come here. No, I just want to thank the administration for the generosity in this, helping us facilitate this, getting this up and running. It was certainly a feat, and my engineer, my, my studio managers all helped as well, and I give them nothing but props. Thank you guys, and thank you, Abby, as well. Um, and thanks to the provost and Dean Ledford for, for backing us up on this one. We had to kind of pull a rabbit out of a hat, but I think we did a great job. And I'm looking forward to seeing more and more students in the studio in the future.